I think it's the people who live somewhere um, and who like live and own and work and kind of like spend their day. So the neighborhood I lived in in Brooklyn that I grew up in, we could, I, if I wanted to see my friends, I would walk outside and walk around the block. You know, we talk about walkability and 24 seven neighborhoods and like the vibe that we had in the neighborhood was just, you know, you said hello to everybody, you engaged with everybody. Um, you talk to people regularly, you checked in with folks that you hadn't seen in a while. And this is in the heart of Brooklyn. Um, and so when I think of community, I think of that, that familiarity and the connection to people, right? Like just because you live in like a really bustling area, doesn't mean that you don't have a sense of community because you because you you exist there and you, you're there. So it's about being present and about being in the moment, about being able to support people that are around you. Um, so when we talk about community or the community it becomes a different frame, it becomes larger. And I think we usually use that to mean um, people that are not in power, or don't have like the, that don't control everything. And so you want to, you know, so people who make policies or solve problems, when I saw policy making to me is just solving problems. So people who are solving problems at the scale that affects a population um, need to check in with those communities to see if those that is actually solving the problem. Um, to me, so that's like the relationship between the community and the people who have power. But I think a sense of community or a feeling of community is something that you can create, you know, in a small town anywhere or in a rural area, um, on an island off the coast of Brazil, wherever you may be, you can find a sense of community. You just have to be present, right? That individual has to be present to be show up 